Well, joining me now is the businessman and founder of Labour Leave, John Mills, and Femi Olawala from Our Future, Our Choice, a campaign group for young people who want to stop Brexit. Uh, John Mills, if I start with you, you think we should be out of Europe, but it looks like this deal is dead already, doesn't it? Well, I think that the deal we've got at the moment probably is. Uh, that doesn't mean necessarily that uh, everything grinds to a halt. Um, and I think what we ought to do now is pivot as quickly as possible to getting some sort of free trade deal done with the European Union. I think they'd be quite happy to see that in place. I think that would solve most of the problems we've got, not all, but nothing's going to solve all the problems. That's a better solution than, than uh, just having a crashing out of the EU, which would otherwise maybe happen. Theresa May certainly looked extremely defiant tonight, though, didn't she? Well, I think she is, but I'm not sure that uh, she's going to be able to pull it off. Femi Oluwala, you want to get out totally, don't you? Uh, out of Brexit? Yes, yeah. You <laughs> well, I mean, why? The, 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 well, for simple, for simple reasons that Brexit is bad for the country. I mean, we need, as young people, we need stuff to be cheap. We need, we need job options. If you damage trade between us and our closest, biggest trade partners, you're going to make things more expensive. You're going to make the UK a less attractive place to create jobs, and that's bad for um, for jobs and that's bad for prices. And as for the, the notion that um, we'll go back to the table and renegotiate something better. Quite simply, there's a reason why we've got a deal that leaves us in the rules of the EU. The only way you avoid a hard border which violates the Good Friday Agreement between Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland is if you have the same rules on either side of the border. Now, if we have the same rules as the EU, but leave the EU, we no longer have a say in Brussels and we end up with less control. That's why the only possible Brexit deal available to us is one that gives up control rather than taking it back. So you want to give uh, the British people another referendum, do you? I think that if people, I mean, we're hearing it right now. Jacob Rees-Mogg says that it makes us a slave state, this deal. Um, Nigel Farage yesterday says that it's the worst deal in history. People who voted for Brexit are not happy with this. So if we end up with a situation where neither side of this debate is happy with how we move forward, we can't call it the will of the people. John Mills, what would you say to that? Well, I think there's some truth in what uh, Femi is saying there. I mean, I think we are got in a bind, but uh, we've got there because the decision was taken by the people on the uh, 23rd of June. 2016 to leave and then we had a parliament that was elected in 2017 which effectively wanted to keep us in the single market and really I don't think there's any real way in which we can stay within the single market without finishing up with a deal something like what we've got at the moment and I think we need to break out of that sort of impasse and look at this thing afresh uh, with a different uh, kind of slant on it all going for a free trade deal rather than the sort of deal we've got at the moment. So you'd go for a referendum would you? Well, I think there are huge problems about having a referendum in terms of what the question's going to be, on the timing, the uncertainty until it takes place, whether the European Union wants to have it back in again, what terms we'd be able to go back in again, or would we have to join the euro, what would happen to Schengen, um, what would happen to, uh, to all the... I mean, there's enormous problems around that. And, Femi, if, uh, if, if we did have a referendum and we got a similar mm. result, that would be a waste of time and money. Well, first of all, we're not talking about going back into the EU. We're talking about keeping our place because we haven't left. So there would be, we'd be able to stay on the same terms, and the EU has confirmed that. And as, and as for um, getting the same result, if it's a choice between a deal between staying in the EU, which is where we currently have 73 of the 750 members of the European Parliament, three times the voting weight of the average EU country, that's a lot of say, compared with the deal that leaves us basically as rule takers having no say, I think I know what people who voted from take back control would actually choose. But don't you just think people are bored of all this? There is so much uncertainty. It's mm. uh, businesses are suffering. The mm. economy of yep. the country is suffering. People are bored. We don't want this dragging out any longer, do we? Exactly. But that's the point. People often say, oh, just let it happen. Oh, I'm so tired of talking about Brexit. And I'm tired about talking about Brexit. I've been speaking about it for two years. I want to move on to other things. But if Brexit goes ahead, it's the only thing the government will be dealing with for the next 30 years. Right now, they've employed 7,000 civil servants to deal with Brexit and plans for 9,000 more, 300 to deal with border issues. Not doctors, not nurses, not addressing the real issues that we need to be focusing on, like the NHS, housing, education, fixing the, fixing the electoral system. They're focusing on Brexit. If you are bored of Brexit, it has to stop now. John Mills, where do we go from here? That's the question. Well, again, I think if you went for a free trade deal, it, it would be relatively easy to negotiate the principle of that, at least with the European Union. And then I think we've got a fairly easy, clear way ahead. Not going to be with uh, no problems at all, but nothing is going to be with no problems. But I think it's a lot better than what we're facing at the moment. John Mills, thank you very much for coming in. Uh, Femi Alawala, thank you to you as well. Mm.